back here on our a la carte ZOZ 103. Steve Dillon here, and we're going to shift gears from the sounds of Scotland to some rock and roll. I got my buddy Don Wyckoff here in the studio. How's it going, Steve? Good to see you, man. First time here on Art a la carte. Glad to have you here. Thanks, man. And uh, here. we got to talk about a special show that you organized. It's called the Quack Fest. Quack Fest, yeah. And uh, tell us about it. Uh, you lost a good friend here recently, a, 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 a pillar in the uh, yeah, music, really was. music community here. Yeah, he really was, man. He was... Uh, his name was Curtis Quackenbush, and uh, a lot of the listeners are going to remember that name because he's of been, bands. been in a lot of he's bands. He's been in a lot of bands, years. but he's also been just a, a fixture in Oneana, all over, supported the music scene for all the other bands that have come through. He, Kurt was right. always one of the ones right in there. If he wasn't on stage, mm -hmm. he was in the he audience. He was in the support, audience. Supporting he was the supporting the local music. Yeah, man. So couldn't uh, couldn't ask for a better guy, man. He he uh, he just played his last show the twenty eighth of. Uh, Seven what was a seven twenty eight. So seven twenty eight was his last show, and then uh, he just he dropped on stage. They took him to the ambulance, and uh, no one ever saw him again, man. Man. So for a musician, I mean, it, it is the ultimate way to, to go out, yeah, go say, out doing uh, what you performers love. Performers always performers always say that if I if I gotta go, let me let me go doing what I love love to do best. Yeah, man. And uh, he certainly did that, man. Uh, the show you put together. Uh, in his honor, his tribute. Uh, tell us about the. You got like uh, five bands lined up. Five bands. Uh, we got uh, local favorites. Uh, Nasty Midnight and Autumn Fire. Is, of oh, course, man. you know those guys are amazing. Those, and those guys go together like uh, bread and butter. Oh, uh, they really do. Um, um, Complement each other first, well. First time I ever saw them together, and the first time they played together was actually when we were the judging. Battle of the Bands. Yeah, and, the yeah, and let's point out, uh, Don was uh, was gracious enough to uh, to lend us his time during the the Battle of the Bands last fall. Uh, but uh, yeah, Autumn Fire and uh, Nasty Midnight, they were the. Just blew it out. They of the tied water. it, they both won it, and then they both uh, opened up for uh, Blue Oyster Cult. That's right, yeah. And then that also led to the Filter Show. They just opened up for them, and it's just goes to show you Great that Oneana's got it, man. It's got it going on. Great and, uh, scene, absolutely. Yeah, it really does. Absolutely. Uh, who else we got? So uh, we got uh, Jive Salad, which was uh, one of Kurt's bands back in the day. You know, funky rock. Uh, Reuniting for the. Uh, yeah, they're going to reunite in his honor. Uh, Liquid Me is another longtime uh, local band that's been around. They've toured all over the place and uh they used to play in a band with kurt called uh, divine retribution okay so they're going to get the uh, bass player to come back and they're going to do some of the songs the originals from you know that those guys wrote together so <clears throat> and then twisted years is uh kurt's last band that was the last band he played with and he toured all over the place with those guys pennsylvania and binghamton uh, area was where they were mostly at but they hit all over new york too so and they're going to be there as well yeah they're gonna on, top uh, the evening off. A, uh, i don't think we've thrown the date out there yet but it's october 7th one week from uh today yep. uh, you're listening to the show on uh, uh sunday so it's next sunday yeah and it's uh sunday. it's kind of an all-day thing what time does it it's start? an all-day we're going to run it from three to nine so it's actually not all day but three to nine it is all ages um, there's uh, uh, there's going to be a uh, silent auction, so there's we got some really good donations for that, from tattoos to uh, uh, Zumba classes and massage therapy, and just I mean, so many people Excellent. came together and dedicated and or donated. Uh, we also um, uh, I got to thank Oneana Theater for hooking us up. Dan Skinner's been you know instrumental for us to pull this yeah, together. Yeah, what a great place. Uh, mm -hmm to put this fantastic tribute Dude, on. Dude, Tom Cormier's been there for me for so many things I can't tell you. Great Drop guy. of a hat, he just, you know, he's Great there guy. for the uh, town. This, this, uh, this community, very lucky to have him. Yeah, absolutely. So with that being said, get out there and support the theater. Absolutely, man. Um, this is going to be a great show. It's only 10 bucks at the door, and uh, good chance you could win a prize. Uh, there's there's uh, door prizes. There's a 50-50 raffle, which should be, you know, quite considerable. You know, we consider that we should have a pretty good turnout. You know? And uh, you mentioned some food. Well, actually, no, the only thing we're doing with food uh, was for the bands. It's kind of just to, you know, everybody was bringing a dish to pass just to kind of, you know, have something to say thanks for coming out. Because we got guys coming from Utica, cool. you know, just to come down and take play care this. Of the, take care of the yeah. guys that are coming out. Yeah. Uh, actually, and we were talking a little bit before we started the show. Uh, there's the, there's hopes that you're going to uh, start this as an annual thing. Yeah, I forgot and, about uh, that. To, to a good cause. Uh, yeah. Yeah, tell us about that. Well, I uh, I spoke with Connie Quackenbush. Uh, it's Kurt's mom. And... Uh, She's been a lot of help trying to put this together, and she's, you know, that's a really hard thing i got to imagine, trying to yeah. organize something, even if it is in his honor. I don't know how she does it with such grace, but she does. And, uh, 
you know, I came to her and said, you know, what about doing this every year? Because there's a lot of local musicians, uh, Juan Cantelli, Darcy, you know, down there that said, you know, we got great students that come in and, uh, you know, they could be phenomenal on guitar, but they just don't have the money or they don't have an instrument. So uh, we've decided to do a scholarship fund in, in Kurt's name. Uh, you know, Quackfest will be an every year thing, and then those proceeds will go to help buy instruments or uh, give lessons to kids that are deserving and, you know, really want to do something with music because it's... It's more than just playing an instrument, man. To some people, at least for me and a lot of the guys I know, it's it's your life, man. It's, it's passion, a dream. Man. It's passion. It's how you. That's your. It's your meditation. It's it's just everything, man. That's it, so yeah. um, I'm not really a musician myself, uh, in the same you know way you are. But I have a great love for music, and I find you have a great love for the arts. For right? the arts, <laughs> yeah, you do. But man. Uh, like music, man, is uh, you know sometimes it just gets out, gets you out of your darkest days. You it know? Certainly does. Uh, yeah. Whether you're playing it or listening to it, and uh, we just have a great scene here in Oneonta. We have an incredible scene. Uh, I don't, you know, I, I didn't come here to give shout outs and stuff, but uh, Tyler Logan, he's another local musician that just tried out for a California band. That's uh, they're really out there. I mean, these guys are signed. They're doing stuff all over, and Tyler just got selected to join that band out there. So we'll yeah. be seeing some of the updates on Facebook. And, and I was glad to see uh, Nasty Midnight was able to fill uh, his shoes within a day. Not an easy thing, no. but because of who Nasty Midnight is, the reputation they have, and the fact that they are they support the music scene. They don't just play the music scene. They support what they what they love, and it's come back to them tenfold, because everybody knows when Absolutely. they need something, they're there in a have you heard the drop of yet? a hat. No. no I, I had uh, Jeff here, I think it was last week, and uh, the album had just pressed, and uh, we, we uh, gave a couple tunes a spin. Yeah. It's, gr it's great stuff. Well, all of the bands will actually be bringing, uh, they will have merchandise set up uh, for the table. Some are donating, some are, you know, just selling to, to make it, the gas money to get home. So, cool. uh, you know, it's something to support. Excellent. Well, that, man, it's a, it, it sounds like a, a beautiful uh, tribute. Everyone uh, should come out and support it. Um, uh, what, what, not a better way to, to, to pay tribute to a to a really friend. isn't man. It gives me goosebumps to think that it would ever happen in my name. So I can imagine how Kurt would feel. And again, I mean, ten bucks. How many five? You know, yeah, it's two bucks a band. Two bucks a band. And outstanding bands. And yeah, let's go through that lineup one more time in case somebody's just tuning in. Yep, we great, got great lineup. Twisted Years, uh, Jive Salad, Liquid Me, Nasty Midnight, and uh, Autumn Fire. Uh, going to bring it in. It's just going to be incredible. All all great uh, local regional bands. Yeah. Uh, check it out. There's more info on the Oneana Theater website. Yep. And you can now log on www.oneanatheater. It's theater with an re dot com. Uh, the, the the box office is always open. Dan, yep. You can go in, ask Dan Skinner in there. He's great. Ask him any questions. Yeah, he and, is. Uh, he'll answer you, and you can pick up Totally your went to bat for us, too, man, to hook this up. I mean, they waved everything. Everything. Just open doors and, and let this happen. You, know, you don't you don't prove yourself any better than that. So That's right, man. Now, do you know, is this going to be in the uh, downstairs space? Or no, it it'll be in the upstairs Nice upstairs upstairs space. setting. Yeah, up yeah, nice and... Uh, you know, you kind of feel it. It's more of a personal that sound. You get the punch in your yeah. chest from the, the and you're right there with the explosiveness band. of the music. Uh, the acoustics are great upstairs. They are great, and I, I got to tell you what, man. Some of these bands are national ready, and, and I'm not gonna say my favorites out loud, but there are a couple bands that are absolutely nationally ready. They're ready to take it on, and and seeing them should be an honor for most people because I mean, a couple years to be so close and to be this uh, you know up front with these guys is great. And they're all personal guys, man. They're all going to be right there after the show, shaking hands and having a beer with you. So absolutely, you know, man. Uh, thanks for coming on. Thank you, man. To, uh, great opportunity. Yeah, uh, you got it anytime. And uh, just get the details out one more time. It's October seventh. October seventh, three o'clock. It all kicks three off. Three to nine. All and who, who, who kicks the show off? Uh, it's going to start with the amazing Autumn Fire. Excellent. Yeah, they're not a better the way bar. to kick this oh, off. Oh yeah, man, and they are just. They're going to bring it. And so get there early because you definitely, get definitely there don't early. want to miss Autumn Fire. Yeah, you're more than welcome to uh, do video and any of that kind of stuff. The guys all, you know, like to see their stuff shot back up at them. And, uh, you know, it's a good, you know, good fan support to Absolutely. do something like that. So Don Wyckoff. Thanks a lot, anytime, Steve man. Dillon. You the man. How about one from our.